the 8-bit guy has this video where he explains how audio works in the NES and older systems. And he explains how there's five channels. There's two pulse waves or square, there's a triangle, and then there's a noise. And then there's one PCM audio, so you can play a, a short sample. So what if we wanted to make an NES template with our instruments, essentially? I would reach for Synth Classic 3X OSC. This is one of the built-in ones that's in FL Studio, I think even with the most basic version. So we can use that for the four channels that we wanna do. So there's two square waves or pulse waves, right? And because there's three oscillators, we wanna turn the other two down and let me just turn the master down. So we can see up here in the visualizer that it is a square wave as expected. And let's do the same thing. Let's get the square wave and turn down the other two. So then we have two square waves and we can even rename them. Uh, they call it pulse waves, square waves. Uh, the third one was the triangle, right? So again, it's just a single oscillator actually, but we want the triangle one. And if we look at the waveform up here, it's kind of hard to see, so let's turn it up. Now you can see that's a nice triangle. That is what we want. Okay, that's our triangle. We can even rename it. The last one is a noise, and all you have to do there, again, turn down the other two, and then the random is the noise. So now we have those four. You can color them or whatever you want, but then the other one is we want uh, a sample for the fifth one. So you can use direct wave or a sampler or whatever you want. Um, you can just throw in direct wave. Uh, sampler is probably a good one too if you have different samples. Uh, direct wave is better if you have one sample you want to play at different pitches. Uh, so that's it. And if you want to save it as a template, you go to File, Save As, and then you'd save it in your templates directory so that you can load it new from template and get your NES going. So uh, you, it's in your documents, it's in your home directory, documents, image line, FL Studio, templates.